Hi, I'm John Horton with Pacific Crest Building Products. We're here today in our Tacoma warehouse to show you our new reversible interior door system. Our doors come knocked down so that you can determine whether you want the door to be a left hand or a right hand on the job side. So there's no mistakes for any more of our door. So the jams come knocked down, pre-machined, with the stops. And the stops this time has a groove so you can align that. I'll show you a little bit later. But the nice thing about the groove is it allows us to install the unit with the screws or, or nails behind the stop so it doesn't show when it's done the finished product. Before we go ahead and order our reversible door, what we want to do is make sure that we're ordering the correct size uh, door for our opening, whatever opening you have. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and measure the width of your opening. And the opening needs to be two inches wider than the size of your door. So if you have, like in this instance here, we have a 34 inch opening, we want to have a 32 inch door. Two inches over in our width for our door. Height wise, we want a minimum of 82 and a half inches, plus or minus a quarter of an inch. So we'll go ahead and check that. Here we have 83, we're perfectly fine. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go over some of the tools required for the installation process. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, use an 8 inch drill bit. Uh, we're going to need some. Uh, shims for installation of the door, a uh, hammer, we will need uh, a level, and we will need a uh, tape measure to go ahead and install the door. Here's a, uh, a longer level is a preferred, but you can use a uh, shorter one too. If we're standing in front of the door here, we can actually see our knob and our hinge mortise right here, so we can determine if we want the door to swing out with the hinges on the right, or we can reverse the door, and we can have it where our hinges are on the left and knobs on the right, so it swings out this way with the door. After we've decided which direction we want our door to swing, in, in this installation we're going to have it to where our hinges are going to be to the left. So we're going to, as you see here, the hinge will be installed like this, so the hinge comes out here with a square portion installed on the door so that you have your hinge coming out this way. Right now we're going to go ahead and, and lay the door down so that we can pre-drill the hinge onto the actual uh, door. We're going to lay it down to make it a little easier to, to do that. So you'll grab your 8 inch drill bit and 8, eight inch for this operation. And what we're going to do is we're going to place this on the, the door and we're going to make sure that this is flush with the edge of the door over here. So it's totally totally flush here and then we will go ahead and now pre-drill the center of each hole approximately one half inch deep. And we will go ahead and proceed to do these for all after we've machined the holes, drilled the holes into our, our door here for the hinges, we are going to grab the jam that has been pre-machined for the hinges here, and we're going to determine determine which side the actual hinge is placed on. Since this is a jam that can be mounted left or right, we're going to determine which direction that this goes down. When we hold this up here, we're going to line up all of our hinges and we're going to look at the top of the door here. If it sticks out 
as it does here over the top of the door, we need to reverse the jam until the hinges line up the notches and we're approximately level with the top there. It should be just a, a slightly higher than the door. Now with this here, we're going to go ahead and attach the hinges to the actual jam. We have our jam with the, pro the correct side up. We have three hinges with the radius side, which is going to be placed here in the jam. We're going to go ahead and grab our Phillips screw gun here and attach all three hinges to the jam. center one you can then secure the other two. secured one screw into each one, then you can go back and install the other screws to complete the installation of the hinges. Okay, in this process we're going to go ahead and pre-drill our head so that we don't split the wood. We're going to go ahead and do it the same with our 8 inch drill bit again. <clears throat> we're just going to go ahead and do it about approximately three-eighths of an inch down from the top, straight through. One about three-quarters of an inch from either edge. And one directly here in the center. And we're going to do this for both sides of the jam. installed our jam, we're going to go ahead and close it like this and we're going to go ahead and lay it down on a uh, flat surface so that we can install the rest of the uh, jam, the head and the other leg. the door. We 
We're also going to grab our head piece and we're going to install it with the groove facing down towards the door. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install our jam with the head and we're going to place the groove down towards the door. The supply block that's in the actual jam kit. We're going to go ahead and place this underneath the door jam here and we're going to set the head on the top of that block too so that we're at the right height for both sections here. We're going to go ahead and flush up on the back side here and then we're going to go ahead and go through our pre-drilled holes into the jam leg. Again, we're just going to go down about a half inch into the jam leg itself. The supply screws through the head down into the jam leg which attaches the, the head jam. You want to make sure you adjust your screw gun so that it doesn't strip out the screws as you put it in there. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab our block from the other side here. And we'll go ahead and go over to this side, which is our latch side. And we'll, again, make sure that our latch goes up against the door. As we turn it up, it needs to be towards the door as you turn it up against it. And we will go ahead and, again, place our block underneath so that we're at the same height and we're going to go ahead and flush this out here so that we're flush on the back side here and we're going to get pre-drilled our screws. Approximately one half inch. put together our door <coughs> on a level ground surface here. We're going to go ahead and lift it up and place it into our opening. Preferably it would be nice to have an additional person if you need to to assist you if you need the uh, help due to the weight of the door. We're going to go ahead and place it into the opening. <laughs> While the jam is in the opening, we'll go ahead and swing the door out. Place this over here so that we have access to our, our jam <laughs> for installation uh, purposes. In this case, we're going to go ahead and use screws for our installation here, but you can use a nailer or screws either, either way. 
our screws are, we're going to go ahead and install behind in the actual groove itself here as at a later process we're going to install our jam stop for the door here and that will cover any of those screws. Now that we have the door placed in the opening <coughs> and we have the door at a 90 degree open so that it's actually resting down on the floor here, we'll go ahead and bring the bottom of the door flush with the wall here so that you're flush on the bottom and then we will go up towards the top here <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to just barely start a screw in this top hinge area anywhere in this this hinge area we're going to place our screw <clears throat> now that we have the screw placed for ease of installation we're going to go ahead and bring this jam and we're going to bring it flush with the wall. We're going to go ahead and raise the door up to where this is flush. And then we'll go ahead and screw this screw in here. And we're going to go ahead and do the same towards the bottom. We're going to go ahead and flush that out again. Make sure we're flush with the wall. You can check it on both sides, make sure you're flush. So after we've done this, this is where we're going to go ahead and check the level of this side so that we're even so the door is correctly placed in the opening. <laughs> Preferably using a longer level. We'll go ahead and place it up against the jam here and make sure that we are level. If we need to adjust, as we have noted earlier in our items needed to install the door, we're going to go ahead and grab shims as required to shim out behind the hinge placement. On either side of the door here. Installing the shims into the hinge location, what we will do is we will install from both sides so that we don't move the jam, so we keep it at an even distance so it doesn't torque the jam one direction or the other. So we'll install a shim from the small part of the shim to the larger from both sides and bring it out as necessary to make sure that our level here is, is plumb in the open. And after we do this, we'll go ahead and put a screw directly through our ship and then check the plumb again. And once we're going ahead and level in the opening, we'll go ahead and finish to go ahead and finish out the uh, center one. After we place ships in behind each hinge section here and we had our temporary screws in there. We'll go ahead and take a screw and drive it right through our shims to hold them into place. So that those are fixed. And then we can go ahead and use a, a razor to go ahead and just basically just mar them and break the excess hinge portion off. We'll go ahead and complete that on all three hinge sections. After we've shimmed out and placed a screw through the actual jam, through
through the ship and we're going to go ahead and we check the jam again make sure we're still plumb and level if we need to make an adjustment we can loosen up and <coughs> put additional shims or remove shims to make sure that everything's level <coughs> after we go ahead and install the shims there we're going to go ahead and close the door and we're going to see <coughs> where our gap is on the strike side here where the door latches as you can see the reveal looks halfway decent here, but we can shim as needed to bring this in and out just like we did on the hinge side. On the, on the top here, the, the gap is a little wide, so we'll go ahead and shim that out also to bring that over. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and open the door up again. And again, we'll go ahead and install shim. from both sides. side we will do it equally in three different locations on the strike side. the ship go ahead and check our reveal we're a little tight in here so we'll remove some shimming and bring it over just a little bit to give us some less gap. we've installed our door unit made sure everything is plumb square all of our reveals are good we're going to install the stop onto the jam into the groove around the door 
and we'll start with our head stop here and put it into the top of the frame and we'll go ahead and space it evenly between the jams here so that we're flush with both surfaces of the door jam. After we've installed the head, we'll go ahead and install our side stops onto the jam into the groove also. We'll just put this right up against the head stop right here. We'll go ahead and after we've installed our stop here we'll go ahead and trim our shims off so that it's ready to install all of the trim going around the uh, door unit itself. What you want to do is just kind of score these and then break them off flush with the wall so that you can install your trim. installed and we've taken the shims off, depending on which handing, whether it's a left hand or a right hand door, your hinge pins may be upside down. And you can look at your hinge here and you can see if there is a hinge pin top on the top here or on the bottom. If it's on the bottom, all we'll do is just take a, you can take any small object here that you can just tap the hinge pin out we'll go ahead and turn it to where the hinge pin is towards the top just tap these back into place and we'll do that and do that for all three 